So let's begin with Hasbro stock. It has dropped 9% for a stock that is not run by Kathy Woods of ARK Invest to drop 9% in a day is unusual. This is a pretty big drop and a lot of people have lost a lot of money uh, because they have Hasbro stock, one of them being Alpha Investments. Made a video. He's very angry. Uh, he has a lot of inventory. He's saying, oh, no more British War. And this is the utter feeling of every single game store owner. We have so much inventory that is not selling. To give like a comparison, Pokemon sells really, really well right now. They have chase cards that people actually want to hit. I myself have opened maybe a thousand fusion strike to get my espion and when i hit it i was really happy i was like wow it it's a product that makes me happy magic is not a product that makes me happy it is not a product that makes alpha investment happy it is not a product that makes anyone happy and i read you an article about kotaku you know kotaku is not my favorite website for obvious reasons but hey let's just read it it feels like every week Magic the Gathering is revealing a wild new crossover set or promotional release. And that's because it is, kind of. Fans began stewing over the onslaught earlier this year, and now even Wall Street is starting to bulk. Bank of America downgraded the toy company owner's Hasbro stock earlier today after accusing it of killing its golden goose with greed. The primary concern is that Hasbro has been overproducing magic cards, which has propped up Hasbro's recent results, but is destroying the long-term value of the brand, Bank of America analyst Jason Haas told clients today, as reported by CNBC. He specifically took aim at the upcoming 30th anniversary set, containing booster packs, some of which will include reprints of valuable out-of-print cards from the collectible game card game's early years, this set has devalued many high-value cards, and the collectors are concerned that Wizards will reprint more. Has wrote, A similar message has been plastered across MTG fan message boards since the set was revealed in early October. Collectors were upset that publisher Wizard of the Coast were, was potentially sabotaging the value of their most thought-after cards, like the infamous Black Lotus. While fans were frustrated at the 30th anniversary set, including just four booster packs for $1,000, essentially turning the beloved card game story history into the 2022's worst real-life loot box. And a loot box it is. Monday morning, so it was trading at $102 starting in 2022. Hasbro shares are now down below $60. Yikes. They talk about Universe Beyond and so on and so forth. Kotaku is not the only one. Here's CNBC. Here is Wall Street Journal. Here's Investing.com. None of them are po po Polygon, Magic the Gathering, owner Hasbro is killing its golden goose. Bank of America, Hasbro could fall 34% due to company ruined Magic the Gathering card game. Yeah, none of these are um, positive, I would say. I would actually say that it is... Uh, Extremely negative. Hasbro stock drops after analyst downgrade. Wall Street Journal. And it's one of those things when negative news comes out, it's really easy for anyone who has, like me, you know, it's really easy for anyone who has an axe to grind to jump on the bandwagon and just start hacking away. So this is bad. Uh, this is very bad. Um, at the end of the day, Hasbro... After us, we are magic players, I, I guess, assuming some of you guys are. And my gut feeling is, like, why is, why is this game, why do we need so many different versions of the same card? Like, really, does, do we really need a jumpstart version of every set? No. Do we need draft? Yeah, I, I think draft. Do we need set? All right, I give you set because then you can have collectors, but we don't need collectors' items. Commander decks, and I mean, at the end of the day, like who, who wants all this stuff? <laughs> you know, secret layers, 
13 new secret lairs, according to Tolarian Community College. Post Malone gets not one, but two secret lairs for himself. At some point in time, we gotta say no. I believe the $1,000, that 30th anniversary set was a, a cry. It was a cry for help that this company is being run by incredibly incompetent individuals. You know my feeling about this is it's the same with Henry Cavall and The Witcher set. He's a nerd. You watch his interviews and they're like, oh, this guy actually gets it. He likes it. But now, because his showrunner wants to promote certain things, you know, equality, diversity, and things, um, and make his character seem like a dumb, 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 he, he's quit. That's Henry Cavall is the Magic the Gathering player base. You can only sell us diversity, equality, non-binary things as much as we without milking us for money, they made a ma major mistake. Let me tell you what the mistake was. They hired a bunch of people who were social justice warriors who lived in cancel culture, and that, that's who they hired. You can check. You can check who they hired. I mean, one of the biggest grievous errors was Brian Kibler. They brought Brian Kibler back to advertise this product. Brian Kibler probably cost the stock shares 20% loss already. But back to my point. There's no creativity. We're back to Innistrad. We're back to, God forbid, Dominaria for like the 18th time. There's a million different commander decks. The Jumpstart is just one of the worst products I've ever seen in my life. I'm being forced to buy Jumpstart by my... Like, this is not the way it is for other card games, right? Like, I'm carrying Weiss now, and the Weiss card game is not bad. I mean, it's doing okay. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is doing really well. Uh, Pokemon is crushing it, man. Pokemon is just, man, seven trillion. The reason Magic is failing, they don't know how to get new players and they don't know how to retain. When your customers are leaving and you cannot bring new customers in, that's when any company fails. It doesn't matter what you're selling. You could be selling Beanie Babies for all of it. But as soon as the demand from the customers, as customers leave, because they're like, you know what? Hey, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't have $1,000 to celebrate with you guys, with Brian Kibler. Dare to dream. Dare to dream to open two Black Lotuses. Like, why would you say that? We don't even know if a pack has one Black Lotus yet, but you're going to dare to dream to open two. Okay, got it. Gambling. Uh, promoting gambling among children. Uh, this is just one of those scenarios where only when Wall Street notices, I bet you the CEO, CEO today. And also, yeah, Dow gains 200 points as stock market looks to build on last. So you telling me every other stock is going up today? No, is that right? But Hasbro, the only stock that went down today, 10%, was Hasbro. Let me look at the stock market right now. Yeah, the Dow is up 153 points. Uh, how much is the NASDAQ up? Yeah, all the other stocks are up. I probably made money today. I mean, I don't know. I, I have a lot of Chinese stocks. So <laughs> let's see if the government locked them down again. NASDAQ stock. Oh, no. NASDAQ looks... Nope. No, hold on. Did NASDAQ go down? I hate how they never tell you this. Uh, NASDAQ. No, NASDAQ's up a little bit. Am, am I down today? Let me see. I hope I'm not down because that would be a whole horrific. Uh, d -d 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 this isn't, probably shouldn't be logging on to my private account, my secretary's iMac. Uh, yeah, I'm up today. I'm up $1,700. All right. The only stock that went down is, uh, Hasbro. So in a day where the market is rallying, everyone's making shit tons of money. The one dude who's losing money is, uh, the guy that you see in front of you because he invested in Hasbro stock. As somebody who's played Magic since beta, as one of the OGs, as one of the earliest, if not the earliest, Magic YouTuber under New Law Student, it's done. If you want to debate this with me, I welcome you at 5 p.m. We're going to have a long live stream, I assume, and we can debate. My point has always been this. If Aaron, if Aaron, the dumbass at Wizard of the Coast, he's the vice president of Wizard of the Coast, is he's asking, hey, in the Twitter, hey, why do you think 
guys that nobody is coming to play Magic at the local game store. And the only people responding to him are people who follow him, like Brian Kibler. So the advice that he gets is echo chamber advice from cancel culture people. And and he's not getting any advice from people like me who own a store, from distributors, from casual players, from brand new players. He, he doesn't... There's no reason for any of us to even have Twitter and tweet about Magic. The only people tweeting about Magic are entitled little assholes, right? D- getting only fans and so on. You know, you understand what it is, right? It's the minority with the loudest voice. I'm so proud of us being the majority of Magic players to say F that minority of with the loudest voice, they're wrong. Just because you're a minority it does not make you special. It does not make you got to still work hard. You got to grind it out. You got to be creative. And Twitter is a terrible place to ask for advice. So Aaron asks, why do you think local game stores are dying? And then Brian Kibler responds. And, you know, some other people respond who've been entitled, right? Who've been promoted, who have been paid a lot of money. And then they give him some really bad advice. He takes the advice back as vice president to the president. President says, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The reason that we are not doing well, the reason that there are no players at the local game store is we're not pay- paying Brian Kibler enough money. That's the problem right there. And then this continues and continues and continues. I can tell you exactly why nobody is going to your local game store. Uh, the local game store does not want to carry a product like this when they have a product that is way better called Pokemon. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! is very interesting. I caught, you know, I'm... Now that I no longer have to buy Magic for the next uh, year or the remainder of this year, I'm looking to buy Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm looking at some of the products, and they look pretty cool. And I think uh, they can sell well. Now, again, I've only sold a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! But the fact that I'm going to replace Magic with Yu-Gi-Oh! should tell you all you need to know as... You know, you know what I did this weekend? I uh, And I have to do it... Um, next weekend, so the following weekend, is I'm putting all my Magic cards in storage because I don't want to look at them anymore. Outside of, like, the blister packs and the sleeves, you know, the stuff that I would open anyway. Uh, the collectible items, my boxes, my vintage stuff. I There's no point in, like, even flexing this stuff anymore. You just have a wall of vintage boxes because there's no one to flex to. I mean, there's no whales left, so it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> you just look like an asshole now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me do an example for you. I'll make a very good example. So let's say you start a new channel and you decide to cover Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, you're going to do well. You decide to cover Pokemon. You're going to crush it if you really take your time. You decide to be a Magic the Gathering channel. You're going to get no subscribers. I mean, the only two games that you will get less subscribers from in terms of viewership and why do you think we changed to Umu? I knew that we couldn't do Magic alone because Magic alone is not... There's no way we can do it. I, I, there, there's nothing we can do. We have to do football cards and Pokemon. Pokemon's big. Pokemon, I don't think you guys understand. <laughs> there are people who come into my store and they buy two cases and they just continue to open. <laughs> they don't smell. They dress you know, well. They have deodorant. They have belts on, you know. Why would I, why would I want, I'm not going to sound very mean, but I think you have to hear this from me. At the end of the day, magic is dying because it got very greedy and the greedier it got. Mm, okay. I mean, I mean, kind of, I don't want to get into too much trouble here with YouTube, the reason Magic is losing, the reason Hasbro, and there's a Wall Street person who's pointing this out finally to them, in my personal view, is because the employees at Wizard of the Coast are doing a bad job. And they need to be fired just like the MPL. Remember, the MPL was let go because none of them was doing a good job. None of them was doing any job. They just collected their paycheck and had mental health issues. Again, I'm trying to walk, trying to be very careful. Everyone from Mero to Aaron to all their new people to Ephro's wife to everyone needs to be laid off today. And un- unless that happens, I will not return back to the game. I'm just going to shit post on the game all day. But I will not 
contract aside, again, my contract, you know, sometimes you have to do things that you said that you would do, but then things change, but you're already signing contract. That's how contracts work, and that's fair. That's fair. But I for sure am not buying Brothers War, and I'm for sure am not buying no Magic cards until the end of the year. And if Target says, hey, you know what? We looked at it, and we definitely don't want you to buy more Magic cards the next year. I will also not buy any more Magic cards in 2023. Same idea as Rudy. I'm sure he has a distributor who is looking into this as well. Uh, because every, it's not just game stores. It's not just players. It's also distributors. When Target says no, trust me, something is going to get done. When Walmart says no, trust me, something will get done. Because they're not selling product. They're not selling. 